if you use physical things in this end time you will call many good things evil and you will call many evil things good you've heard me say even darkness from afar looks like light until it comes near before you will see that it is darkness it is a risk to trust your senses and impulses alone in this end time those who will be exempted from evil ladies and gentlemen are those who will have high level discernment discernment to know when to collect and when to say thank you are we together discernment to see a door open and yet be able to say no this door even though it's open i know that it is not god or it is not the season because you've heard me say even the prison door must be open for you to enter so just because a door is open you need to find out where you are going it can be a door into a prison and you jump there rejoicing only for you to find out that it was a dead end. Hallelujah. There are many gifts you will collect. It's like selling your birthright. You need discernment. And let me respectfully say this, especially to we ministers of the gospel. We have to be careful and sensitive. Yes, ministry requires money. Yes, the man of God requires his welfare and all of this taken care of. But let me tell you, we need high level discernment in this end time. Because there are gifts that when you collect, you have destroyed the integrity of your life and your ministry for many, many decades. There are doors you must not enter no matter how open it is. And it does not have to be evil. You must learn to say no to many good things in your life because the impulse that that faculty of discernment does not give you the permission to hallelujah there are times you can be embarking on a journey and you just sense a wrestling in your spirit no 